Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create an amazing text animation effect in PowerPoint. The beautiful text animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this, and it is usually used for title slides. On a click, I bring in the title, and then on a click, I bring in the name of the presenter. So that is how this beautiful animation works. Let me show it to you once again. This for the title and this for the name of the presenter or your organization or whatever you want to add as a byline, you can add. So let us see how to create this beautiful animation from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and let me go to the animations tab and let me keep the animation pane open so you can clearly see what I'm going to do here. On this slide, I have a few elements that make this design happen. One is these text elements, and these are created using nothing but text box tool. You know already how to do that. Then I have these line elements. As you can see, this is a very, very simple, short, straight line that I created using the line tool. So I go to the line tool option here in AutoShapes menu, and I draw a line and then increase the thickness. So that is how I created this particular uh, line here and there are two of them available here. So that is all that is required to create this beautiful effect. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to bring in these two lines into the scene. So I'm going to select these two lines which are aligned and kept one on top of the other. First, we are going to go to animations and make them come in by way of float in animation. So that is what is the animation all about. I am going to have the duration to be 0.5 seconds. Once this is done, the top line, the line that is on top needs to go from here all the way till here. So that is the animation and we are going to add animation. Remember, we already have an animation on this. So we need to add one more animation. So therefore we need to use this add animation option. If you use this option, then the earlier animation gets replaced. So be careful, go to add animation. And then the animation we want to add is under motion paths and it is called as lines. And then let us go to effect options and say right so that the direction of movement is to the right. And then you can see that there is this red arrow which represents the end point here. So I'm going to click on that one. You can see that there is a representation of this object given here so that you can clearly place it. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I click and drag the end point all the way till here, so that is where the animation ends. I'm going to leave my uh, mouse. And as you can see, this is the starting point and this is the end point. And if I have to play this, this is how it plays. Beautiful. Now I want to have this not for this long, maybe I can have this say around one second. And then I want to have this text here this also needs to be revealed alongside. So the way that we are going to do this is we are going to say wipe animation and then we are going to say from left. So that is how the animation is going to be. The duration needs to be 0.25 seconds more than this straight line animation. So we need to have this duration as 1.25 seconds while this is one second. Now the second one, which is the animation of this text needs to happen with previous. And then if I go to the effect options by going to the small arrow here and then go to effect options, you can see that by default, there is a smooth start and smooth end, which messes up the calculations. So we need to have this taken down to zero and then say, okay, so that there is a proper sync in the two animations. Now. I'm going to start from here, take a look at how this animation plays. Can you see here, it almost feels like this line is revealing the text underneath. So we've got our first bit taken care of. The second step is we need to have this piece here move from there to here so that we can have the same line go from here to here to reveal this text. So that is the next step. So what we're going to do is we are going to select the same line which earlier was animated till this and then we are going to add another animation and this time we are going to add motion path animation lines 
and then we are going to have the effect options to go down so that is how the default direction is now the only problem is as you can see here it is moving from here to here we want it to move from here to here so all we need to do for that is we need to click on the starting point which is shown by this green arrow here so i'm going to hold that and move it to the starting point of the end point of the previous animation as you can see here this is where the previous animation ends and this is where the starting point of the next animation is then i'm going to have this which represents the end point and i want the end point moved all i need to do is to click and drag my cursor and i'm going to leave this here so that from here this piece moves from here to here excellent now take a look at the way the animation is going to be it is going from here to here and then on a click it moves from here to here excellent now we need to add one more animation that takes the piece from here all the way till here revealing this text in the process so we are going to add one other animation so i'm going to select the same line and then go to add animation and then let us go down and say lines and this time the effect options is going to be to the left and you can see here it is going from here to here we want the starting point to be changed from here to here so as you can see here as soon as i leave my cursor the starting point of the new animation snaps beautifully with the end point of the previous animation so we have got the first bit done the next is the end point of the animation now needs to be here so that is where the end point is excellent now there is one animation that goes from here to here and then the next animation is here to here and then the third animation is here to here so we have kind of created a chain of animations only that the first one ends here the second one is a combination of this and this now we need to have the second animation that is after it comes here it needs to happen immediately so we are going to say after previous and we are going to have both these animations happen for around uh, say 0.5 seconds so that in total it is a one second animation so half a second for this to this and half a second for this to say this so that is how the animation is going to be and as we did earlier we are going to have the animation applied to our text component so i am going to have this wiped so i am going to say wipe animation and it is going to be revealed from right and the duration has to be 0.25 seconds more than the previous animation so i am going to select this and i'm going to say with previous and i'm going to say it is 0.75 duration and we are done so let us go to the slideshow mode and see the entire thing in action on a click i bring in the two lines here then on a click i reveal the first text element which is the title and then on the next click i have this movement happening revealing my subtitle so that is the base animation now there is one final thing we need to do to complete the animation the first one is i want to have the movement happen as soon as these lines are introduced so i'm going to say this will be after previous and then i'm going to add another animation to these elements and say add animation and this time it is going to float out so we don't really require those lines because they unnecessarily occupy some space and draw attention so after all the animations are over we are going to have these things go away so we are going to say after previous and now the way the whole thing goes is like this and then on a click so that is how the animation plays now what you saw was just one example of how you can combine text with animation i want to show you some interesting alternatives taken from our comprehensive all in one powerpoint bundle to showcase to you the power of this combination of text and animation by the way if you don't know what comprehensive all in one powerpoint bundle is it is a collection of more than 4020 premium powerpoint templates that allow you to make over any text based slide into clear and creative visual slide in a matter of minutes i will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video you can click on that and find more details about this useful product 
Let me show you some example templates taken from comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The first example is this, where the text grows on click and shrinks back. This is a regular list when you see it in the first place. But then on a click, I bring the viewer's attention to the first point, and then I bring the viewer's attention to the second point, then to the third point, fourth point, and fifth point. So a very simple list can be made to look so beautiful when you know how to combine that text with animation. Another example is this, where we are going to talk about five different points. As you can see, the text elements are not so clearly visible to the audience. On a click, I make it easy for the audience to read the first point. I finish my explanation, and then I bring the viewer's attention to the next point, the next point, the next point, and the next point. Pretty much in line with the same idea, we have another alternative, which shows explanation one point at a time. As you can see, there are totally five points in this slide, and we reveal the first point here, and then we reveal the second point, and then the third point, fourth, and fifth. Now, if you want to create a video with PowerPoint, you want some exciting animation. For that, I have an alternative, and this is numbered bouncing balls. If you want to talk about a list, this is an interesting way to present in a video format. First, we talk about the first point, then we have the ball bouncing for the second point, third, fourth, and fifth. As you can see here, the rolling of ball is so realistic, isn't it? An interesting alternative to this is the hand-drawn pull-out card effect. As you can see here, we have a hand that draws out the card from the side, and then we reveal the second point here, and then we reveal the third, and then the fourth point. So these are some of the examples taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. There are a whole bunch of them available in this bundle, which can really make your slides look really attractive. If you're someone who believes that you need to learn PowerPoint yourself so that you can have complete control in terms of the way in which you explain your ideas creatively, then I highly recommend that you take a look at our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. This program is your all access pass, which is a monthly membership for all the training programs that are available on this page. You'll be able to get an idea of the different courses that are there as part of this program by going to presentationprocess.com and going to this particular tab which says PowerPoint Training Courses. So you go there and take a look at the different types of PowerPoint training programs available. And if you want an all access pass, enroll yourself to this monthly membership called Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. And finally, if you want to know exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my subscribers, then please join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. You will get first access to any new product we introduce. You will get first access to all the free giveaways. You will get access to all the free email courses. And more importantly, whenever we make any special offers on our products, we make them only to our email subscribers. So if you want to take your PowerPoint to the next level and get access to a lot of good stuff, then please join our Success by PowerPoint newsletter by clicking on the link here. It is 100% free for you to join. I'll see you in the next video.